What's up, everybody? We're coming at you with a new game that I've been waiting for for a while now. I will admit I'm really not that uh, excited about it because I'm not that interested in it, but I'm going to try it. And hopefully we can make him a believer by the end of the walkthrough. But anyway, this is going to be video one of, as you saw from the title, Quantum Break. Yeah, so here we go. We will not talk during cutscenes, and I will have Reaper turn them. We say we won't talk in cutscenes, but that never happens. We won't. The number one killer is time. It destroys us all. This is what you need to know. Time broke. A growing fracture leading to the end of time. We went after a device that could fix it. Things turned ugly. Paul Stream was there to stop us. He has superpowers. superpowers. Him and me both. Ah, clicked the wrong button. We failed. We failed. Yeah. Jack. And of course, time travel was involved. Jack. Going too fast for you? Okay. Okay. What do you want to cover first? You need to tell me. Let's start, Let's start at the beginning. beginning. When you first arrived at Riverport University. I came back home to see my best friend, Paul Serene. He wanted to show me what he'd been working on. My brother Will was a scientist. He was also involved. Paul said it was world changing. Right. Come on! Watch where you're going, man! Fuck off! Get out of the road! Asshole. Riverport University. Here we are. Hey. Hey. Thanks for the ride. No problem. Anyway, he'd been away for six years. Paul and I had kept in touch, but, well, not so much. How did it make you feel? I was just happy to see Paul. We're going to pause the game and turn the subtitles right, on. Uh, for y'all people out there who like subtitles. Cause, and I like them too, because we got to keep the CV turned down, so I like being able to read along. To know what's going on, do they have subtitles? You're not an audio for one thing. <laughs> no. Nope. For some reason, this way. For good or big, too. Uh, I really it's just whatever's done. Well, I guess he's drunk. It tells us drunk protester. Oh, you just got to the campus. Where are you? It's good to hear your voice. Uh, when you hit the courtyard, my right uses this fancy modern physics building with the lights on it. I'm really excited there. I am so looking forward to this, man. Stelvin told me what this is. I know. See you soon. Why 4 a.m.? Why not wait till morning? Paul had always been a showman. Some protests. Were all these people, like, drunk? Uh-huh. <laughs> hey. Hey. You know where the, you know where the physics, physics building is? You mean the big you ass, ass metallic, metallic turtle behind me? Hard to miss, Hard to man. miss man. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> oh me. Babe, can we go home yet? Hey, it's Bobby Radford here on the tail end of the night shift. Looks like to me they had a if you're with that fraternity, you've done enough damage. We're being shut down. Hey, I got peace. I'm just meeting a friend nearby. At 4 a.m.? Yeah. Yeah, tell me about it. 
Well, well, we're spreading awareness about Monarch Solutions, so if you want to know how badly they're giving us the shaft, then you could just ask me. Alright, All right, what's going on here? Okay. Okay. How would you feel if you knew a corporate monopoly was taking a massive dump all over your personal history? Uh, that's quite an opener. Good. Because that beautiful library over there is over a hundred years old. It's part of the city's heritage. And Monarch Solutions plans to tear it down tomorrow. Do you want to know why? We've got a chart with all details. What are we supposed to do? Go ahead, check out the chart. Oh, there it is. <laughs> bring down the library to another research facility. And for what? I bet you're going to tell me. Mm-hmm. Push their corporate agenda. I mean, look at those numbers. They're slow taking over the city, and everybody's completely blunt to it. No, it doesn't look good. Hey, I got to meet my friend, but keep putting it. Okay? All right. All right. Enjoy your booty call. Not exactly. Not exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure that's how this works. Okay. But anyway. We're just trying to get y'all a little background. It's not like. And get ourselves a little background. <laughs> yeah, they're really trying to work on that petition. They're all drunk. <laughs> yeah. Driven. We made it onto a lot of those top young professionals lists. And now he was coordinating some huge project at the university. It's a big deal for him. You made a long trip just to see a research project? Well, reading between the lines, Paul was under a lot of pressure. He needed a friend. I wanted to help him any way I could. Son of a bitch. Jack Joyce, in the flesh, the esteemed Mr. Paul Serene, shaking money bags. Shut up and bring it in. Welcome on. Six years. Now I'm starting to think you'd never come back. Yeah, me too. Come on. This way. We're going upstairs to the project lab. How was the flight? First class. Thank you for that. Step up from our van trip to Utah. I'm guessing Will's not meeting us. And uh, if y'all want to read those, y'all can pause the video. Will was all the family had, but he was difficult. Yeah, he's difficult. Yeah, he's difficult. Are we difficult. Are we taking the stairs or the elevator? Okay, good. We're taking the elevator. I'm sorry, but you can't, Jack. you can't have a soap. Going up. There's more to this than you're letting on. Is it about my brother? I still worry about him, huh? If Will did something wrong, then Jack, man. I've been tight lifted about this for a reason. This project we've been working on is going to change the entire world. Uh, why do I smell one of your long winded presentations on the horizon? I would never. Oh, look. <laughs> a perfectly placed presentation to illustrate the project. Now, who put that there? <laughs> oh, shocking. Okay. Enough joking. The lab's this way, Jack. Come on. We'll get to your lab. I want to see your presentation. I know you love this stuff. Come on, man. Dazzle me. Well, if you insist. Progress. Hmm. Our, primary Our primary drive is a species. Over time, Over time we have cured life-threatening life illnesses. Explore, Explore the world. Oh, good. Going into marketing. Don't, don't, don't ruin my flow. Well, there but there is one element which denies us true, true progress. Time itself. Time itself. Now, now I'm, not I'm not a scientist, but here's how it's being explained to me. We've known that, in theory, a rotating black hole creates a deformation in space-time, potentially allowing travel through both space and time. Years ago, William Joyce, your brother, 
posited the existence of chronon particles, now known as Meyer-Joyce particles, which fill an all-encompassing field, enabling the constant and steady progression of time. Here at Project Promenade, we have combined both these theories to discover a way to manipulate that field. And the results are staggering. There's more. Well, that's enough of a primer for now. All right. Or do you kill He's like, so this is about quantum physics. Mm. Paul, you know my brother spent years stuck down that rabbit hole. Is that why you brought Will on as a consultant? When Dr. Kim passed away, your brother was the obvious choice to bring him to replace him. Uh, this is ominous. What do you mean? It's a giant vault door. Yeah. <clears throat> I don't want to go in there. Oh, come on. You're gonna get turned into a superhero. Welcome to Project Promenade. Uh, you're like, oh shit, eh? Yeah. You guys must have some budget. What is all this? The future, Jack. Um, you were looking at the biggest mm -hmm. discovery of our time. It's impressive, but sure where's the scientist? What do you need me to do? I would hope. I need someone I can trust. I need you to help me convince Will. Yeah, yeah I had a hunch. I'm pretty sure they don't know this when your brother found out the scope of what we were building here, he... Well, you know Will. Yeah. Yeah. Hang on, I gotta get something from my desk. Will overreacted. Scared off the investors, ranting about miscalculations, dangers, all with no evidence. It works. They're gonna cut our funding if I don't prove it. So I could be the test dummy. I guess the real life cutscenes don't come into play yet. You know, asking for Maybe help not, is not easy for me. I'm in deep trouble. Because technically we're not in a cutscene. You see, the tests I have to run here are not strictly speaking legal. You're the only one I can trust to help me with this. Whatever Will did, I want to make it right. I love my old brother. But he didn't make it easy. It's already essentially set up. Anyone can do it, but you're the one I want to do this with. Jack. Jack. Thank you. Thank you. I knew I could count on you. Did you just open the door and let us do the experiment? You want to you wanna scroll down for people's? Like I said, they can they can pause the video if, if they want to read that, you know? Yeah. That's why you need to scroll slowly on those. What? Me and Reaper here will try to give you all the backstory as possible. That's why I'm not talking very much during their talking parts. Sometimes I may say something, but I'll try to keep it down to nothing when they're talking like that so y'all can get all the... Uh, backstory that you want because it it looks like to me i don't know if reaper thinks the same thing but it's going to be a story i'm about to get made into a test dummy. so what's this it's going to be a story oriented game but anyway travel clockwise leads to a it looks like it's going to be cool. counterclockwise travel backwards oh it's like you invented a clock yes yes years ahead of our time well, I wish I had all the money I need money you to push the lever over there <laughs> labeled Cronon Conduit. That'll activate the core. I'm going to run diagnostics and make sure it remains stable. Um, no. Labeled what? It'll activate the core. Something will activate the core. That's all I know. You gotta be kidding me. That thing's going to shoot us. Uh-oh. It's got a meter. That's just the chrono conduit initiating. Thanks for letting me know. Because <laughs> I thought it was going to go boom. Are you sure it's supposed to do that? Oh, I know it is. What was that? The core 
calculates the effects of a rotating micro black hole, so activating it can be a bit intense. Black, black hole? <laughs> what exactly are we testing here? You're about to find out. This way, we've got to raise the car. Don't you just love hearing them? Just like old times, eh? Slightly illegal. Don't you just love hearing those few words? You're about to find out. Oh, I'm gonna find out. I'm gonna go home. <laughs> I could tell this was different. Still, I didn't understand how massive and far reaching the consequences for this would be. How could I? I knew Paul. He played it cool. But I can tell he's nervous. What's happening? We're really doing this, Jack. It's going to be amazing. He's not as nervous as I am. Here, take this. You need this key to activate the corridor. I don't want to activate it. <laughs> you activate it. You become test dummy. We need to turn the keys at the same time to activate no one, your security precautions. Ready? Ready? Like it's like we're launching a nuke. Launching a nuke. <laughs> Wait, Wait, we're not launching a nuke. Launching a nuke. <laughs> we're going to find out. Maybe. Three, Three two, two, one. one. Oh, God damn, Paul. What is this? The corridor. The passenger entered one end, travels around the loop, exits the other, and arrives at the predetermined time and the physical location where the machine is situated in that time. Oh, oh me. Wait, wait, wait. This is a corridor for... You're actually going inside that thing? In the machine, through time. Okay, you can go in the machine if you want to. I'm not I'm coming to be the first, Jack. And you're my witness. My witness. This is crazy, Paul. This can't be safe. What happens when our team has already proved it works at the trial phase? It is ready. They've passed every test, every inspection. We're about to make history, Jack. Tell me I can't do that. I'll walk right up. Okay, kid. Just hit that switch. What switch? This switch? Okay. Don't hit the red button. Too late. Remember this moment. Maybe. I must be on something. I'm seeing two of the same person. Paul, <laughs> what? How is it? <laughs> it's fine. It's okay. Stay calm, Jack. Stay calm. There's. There's two of you, you just fucking multiply. He took the word right out of my mouth. This is exactly what was supposed to happen. That's he's he's me, a future version of me from two minutes into the future. <laughs> Your evil future self. We did it! Fucking incredible. I mean just Imagine the implications we could warn people about disasters before they happen, cure before they, happen, cure before they, happen, before they spread. spread. I just had this conversation. <laughs> That's a good second time. Jesus Christ. This game game now go into the machine. You need to complete the cycle. Yeah. Yes. Of course. Wait, Paul, what are you doing? It's all a big loop, Jack. I need to enter the machine and travel back to the moment I exited the machine in order to, well, be here. And what if you don't? There is no what if. I'm here, it's already happened. You saw it, Jack. We did it. That's impossible. That's, that's literally impossible. I mean, I can't even... There's no time to stop now. We need to test the other direction. Set the machine to five minutes to the future. And they're gonna make you go this time. Someone's gonna go wrong. What are you doing? Oh no. Jack. That's Tommy Monahan. You have to help me with this. Yeah. We have to shut this thing down now. They hired no, 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 Stop it! Shut up! Hold, hold, hold on. The core. Hold on. We can't shut it down. Paul's still in there. Shut, shut up! Look shut at me. up! Look at me! Put the gun down and we can talk. Okay? No, there's no time. You called it. <laughs> Put the gun down. Jesus Christ, Will. Don't. Time is going to end. Jack, you have to trust me. 
I don't think you were supposed to bring a gun in the chamber. Don't run towards the thing while it's exploding. Not that I get the powers. Yeah. It's pretty cool so far. It had a slow start, I will, I will say that. But I have a feeling this is going to be good. If things blow up, you know it's going to be fun. You got pushed back in time. Nice knowing you. See you around. Uh, you okay? I think so. I'll find a way out. Make sure it's okay. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Well, we're back. You wanna? You wanna return I back home? We're already today. back quicker than I thought we were going today. Time is going to end. The guy should have known not to bring a gun into a chamber like that. Is this? You broke? Time. Hmm. Where'd we go? Is this really happening? This is pretty cool. What the hell? This is crazy. Where am I in? Well... But anyway, let's keep it moving. Them guys are more decked up than any college, college security guard I've ever seen. I don't think they're college security. They've got the logo of the company on their back. Oh, yeah. Come on. Uh oh, we're being shot at. Run. <laughs> there is no help. I didn't know where he'd end up. Yeah, we should run. What the hell? Yeah, we're going the right way, okay. So what do you think so far? It's not bad. Not as much action so far as I would have hoped, but... Jack, you want to start right, this one? Yes. Gotta keep moving. started to manifest. An out of control burst of energy that saved Will. Jack, Jack, it plucks to the pulse. And it must have... Oh, Can we take a Will. What I just did back there. 
What the hell is happening? That's what I'm telling you. Not in the right language. Explosion make time go bad. If time is an egg, then that egg is fucking broken. The time egg is fucked. What? Why is, Why is there an egg in this? There's a fracture in time. It's breaking down. Leading to the end of time and his mama didn't oh, watch it. What? Locked. They cut my security clearance. <laughs> that didn't help. Sit back. I'll get it open. Like a boss. Oh, more of the height. They're coming. Here. I tried to make you listen to me. By shoving a gun in my face? Yes, a gun. The universal symbol for shut the fuck up and listen to me. Sound logic is out of the You. Paul brought me here to clean up your mess. My mess? Do you even... We have no context for any of this, Jack. We're in here. What happens in six years? It's bigger than us. Is this six years? Probably six years after he's arrived. Goddamn person. Listen, getting you involved is the last thing I wanted. I'm sorry. But you got me involved anyway. Technically, he didn't. The other dude did. The other dude that is dead, I guess? Because we didn't free him. No, he ran through time. I feel like he's gonna end up being the bad guy. The other guy? Yeah. This game's very suspenseful. I kinda, I kinda like that about it. Factoring time is only gonna get worse. We have to stop this before it's too late. How? First, we have to get to my car. But I don't wanna go to your car. You tried to shoot me. Will, Will, get out! Who oh, got its arm? Opening fire! Get him down! Did they just say it's arm? I like that. I've been saying it. You know what I mean? They didn't have to ask. Is it pop off the moment or is it just free game? Will, are you okay? I think so. Ooh. I know. This is way out of hand. I'd used a gun before. I'd been in a couple of spots. Never had an army of gun machinery. <laughs> I think I'm gonna call this video not campus security. Hmm. So when you're making the this is not good. When you're making the uh thumbnail. Hide! Yeah. Not again. Hey buddy! Nice to meet you. These guys are wearing monarch uniforms. Monarch? What the hell is monarch? You, you know, it's really gonna be cool when we start to use all the powers that the dude has. I'd say he's dead. Oh! You know what else this. What else this team made? He's acting up again. The team that made this game? We have to go. Back to thing. Jack, you hear that? So it's gonna be fun. I forgot about that. It must be after the machine. We can't go to your car. Monarch could be affecting that. We have to, Jack. To fix the fracture. I I need We need to get to my car. Okay, just walk me through this. Okay, time's broken. Fine. 
Now you're, now you're saying we could fix it? In theory. In theory. I, built I built something for such an event years, years ago. Finding but finding the countermeasure won't be easy. The countermeasure? What? The uh oh. Okay. What happened? Maybe, Maybe the, door the door's still open. open. Let, me try. Let me try. I would say they cut the electricity, don't you? has the powers. Nay, him or no? I do. Somehow I focus an unfree will. Even if the world was still frozen. Stay. So we can walk around by again? About the fracture. About all of this. I'll take that. And that. And that. Can you shoot them while they're frozen? I just took all their guns. What about his? It's gone. Oh. <laughs> you just took all their guns? We don't want to be here when the shutter collapses. So they're gonna come back too and not have any guns. That's gonna be so. Where's your, where's your car? This way. This way. Take your gun. I uh, don't need to take yours. Take your. We don't need his flashlight. What campus did it say we're going? I met this girl. Oh, that's Amy. I'm on a freezer. She's not on freezing. It worked on you. Why isn't it working on the others? I don't know. It may have to do with chronon exposure. Look at them all. It's a goddamn invasion. What are they doing? Why? They're taking everybody. And witness what they've done. They're not taking them if they don't have weapons. I know. Me and you are going to have so much fun with this game. We have horrible to these guys. <laughs> This game's gonna be so much fun. None of them have guns anymore. Looks like he's... He didn't expect to wake up this morning and uh, get frozen. No, no, no. We can get to the parking lot. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You said you were prepared for this. <laughs> you knew it was gonna happen. Wait, there's no other. Hey, you ain't even gonna kill guys in this game. Just, I'm like, damn, just, oh, I'm going to. I'm mean, gonna kill people. I mean, you won't have to kill all of them. Because okay, you can freeze them and take their weapons. Y'all are free to run. Everyone's lost their weapons now, so. Well, the civilians ain't gonna worry about getting shot when time is freezing. Because <laughs> none of the bad guys have a gun. Mm -hmm. <laughs> did the dude that was holding Amy have a gun? He did. We doesn't anymore. You took it from I didn't do it. Whatever it was, I didn't do it. Oh no, no. My car. Patrolling the parking lot. Oh god, that's it's okay. Okay, well Okay, Calm down, okay? I'll take care of this. I'll I'll fight my way through. I'll get the car and I'll bring it around. Good luck, brother. No. Are you sure you can fix time? Then we'll call it even. Then we'll call it even. Maybe that's not the door you go through. Oh yeah, maybe he's got to open it. Hey Jack. Hey Jack. Be careful. Yeah. Yeah. I've got guns. I'm not worried about being careful. These guys just need to not get out of that. And we have superpowers, so we'll freeze them and take their guns. What the hell? The powers were growing. It started to sense things, premonitions, echoes from the past. They want us to find a car belonging to William Joyce while we're here. Oh, bad guy. Wait. 
The red's bad guys, right? Bad guy. Oh, that was the last guy in that area. That's why I did that. See, it's just like Max Payne. You remember when you killed the last guy in the area of how it's doing That's cool. Where's your call? everybody? Looks like it's me. Take your aim over. You must have a car because none of these cars are going on. I could see an echo of the past. Will, arriving at the university. I hope that God is not too late. That's. Something clicked. Oh, you froze him? I could mm -hmm. reach out, nice. stop time in the focused area. You know what you're doing. Well. Fuck. They're coming from where I left Will. I gotta get back to him. Fast. You can die. So that vision helps you see where the battle is. What would you be thinking if you were a bad guy? I'd be thinking he's everywhere. <laughs> Look, I don't know if you can make it, but you should hurry. That's the first time you saw Beth Wilder. Yeah, but definitely not the first time she saw me. Will. Will. Where are we at? 37 minutes. Yeah, I think they'll call it here. Looks like it's safe for them. Don't open that door. But anyway, no time to I want to bring this go. back on camera so they can see us while I end this. Anyway, well, we're not done with the level. That's fine though. It'll save right there. But anyway, we're gonna end this. Uh, we're gonna end this video here. I really don't know how to divide these videos yet, but we'll figure that is that out as we continue to play, just like we've done with every walkthrough on the channel. But anyway, it looks good to me so far. I think it's going to be... I think I might enjoy it. I think it's going to be a real story-driven base game. I yeah. think it's going to be cool, but uh, I think you stole every weapon that them guys had. In they the shouldn't area. have been trying to shoot me. <laughs> this is what happens. Mm -hmm. But anyway, that's going to be fun if you get to do more than, more of that, though. Yeah. That's, that's going to be really cool. We'll just have to say. But anyway, I'm going to quit rambling and finally end this and say, God bless you. See you later. Thank you.